This video is to explain the different screens available when going into your DFV or DFS2 type gauge using the information button. So if you press the information button the first time, you can see the capacity of your force gauge with the different units available. Right now we are using Newtons and the smallest variation available uh, when in Newtons is 0 0.05 Newtons. So if we go to the home screen and we exercise a, a, a very light load, we can see that the smallest variation uh, to the right of the digit is 0 0.05. Now if we go back to the information screen, we could press either the center button here or the F3 button here. The next screen will show uh, the firmware available on the gauge. The, it'll show the model number, the capacity, the part number for the firmware, the revision number of the firmware. So 1.07 has been released on 6.6.2019. Uh, and it's the latest firmware uh, available as of July 2020. Now if the information button is pressed again, uh, we have the number of overloads. Whenever there's a, uh, a, a load on the force gauge in tension or compression over 120%, uh, an overload will be recorded, either in tension or compression. Uh, this doesn't mean that your gauge uh, is, is can't be used anymore but it's recommended to send the gauge into a distributor for recalibration or send it to Amitech as well. Now if the information button is pressed again we have information regarding the battery life of the gauge and this is a good way of uh, checking the battery charge and the battery itself. Uh, we have the estimated hours that went from 14 hours to 20 hours and we also have the battery level that is going up and is showing its charging. So that's another good way of verifying your, your charging circuit. Now if the information button is pressed again, uh, we, will sh we can display the calibration date of the force gauge. And this gauge, it's a demo unit, so we just have zero, zero, but your, the calibration date will be displayed in this screen. And now if the information button is pressed, either this button or this button, uh, we will go back and make a full circle of the different screens available. And in order to get out of this menu, the home button needs to be pressed. And this is, these are the different screens available uh, on the gauge regarding information on firmware and capacity.